Hello everyone, this is Priyanka and today we are going to learn null handling in a SQL server. Basically, there are two types of null handling. First one is a null handling in a WHERE clause. The purpose of null handling in a WHERE clause is for the filtering records with the null records and without null records. And another one, another way to null handling is null handling in a SELECT clause to prevent the null value and replace it with other values. Basically, there are three types in a SELECT clause. We will see later. Firstly, we will see the null handling in a WHERE clause for filtering the records. I have the database having a table name employee. Uh, I have already created it. Ja now we will see the records from the employee table. Select all from employee. I will execute the query and see the output. Here we have one record with the null value that is employee ID 4 and department ID null. Now we have to use null handling and we have to fetch the records without null value. For that firstly we will use the where condition and in that we have to find the records without null value. For that we will put the condition where DP ID is not null. Now we will execute the query and see the result. Here we can see the result shows not null values. Here no record with null value. This is the one way to find out the values without null. Now we will see the another query which will show the result with null value only. Select all from employee where DP ID is null. I will execute the query and see the output. Here we will get the output with null value only. These are the ways to, uh, to find the records in null handling where clause. Now we will see the another way. That means null handling in a select clause. Here we are replacing the values. Now <coughs> select. Here we will put the column names whichever we want. I will put here EMP ID, comma EMP name. in the mp underscore name comma dp id we know that the value having null is in this column so firstly we will complete the query and then we will give the condition here we have to use null handle null values replacement that means in a dpid instead of null we have to replace another value for that we will use the function is null and attribute only two attributes we can use in the is null function we have to replace dpid instead of null we will put here minus one and now we will see the output by executing the query here we can see here instead of null minus one is replaced now we will see the another way to put the 
replacement select emp id comma emp name comma dp id from employee here instead of is null we are going to use the function call ask call and function dp id and here we will replace the value instead of null minus 2 okay now we we will see the result i will execute the query see here the null value is replaced by minus 2 this is another way uh, the difference between is null and colask is only one in is null function we can give only two attributes and in colask we can give more than two attributes as much as we want now we will see if we give the more than two arguments in is null what will happen employee id null minus one okay see here we will get the error the is null function requires two arguments that means more than two arguments are not allowed in is null function now we will add the one more argument in a colask dp id null minus two now i will execute the query and see the result we will get the result with minus two instead of this i will put here one more argument as a one and execute the query now we will see what will happen i am executing this query and here we get one that means he is accepting more than two arguments but once he get not null value he will stop searching it will search it will stop searching now he searched at dp id after that he get null and after that he get not null value and he stopped searching and now he replaced value 1 instead of null now we will see third type in this in third type we are using case when select emp id comma emp name comma from employee and here we have to use case when case when <coughs> we will give here case when dp id is not is null then put there minus one else dp id okay and we will end this here now we will execute the query and see the result i am executing this query here we can see the null value is replaced by minus one these are three types of null handling in a select statement now we That's will so stop here and That's so please see my next video now we will stop here and please see my next video with new content
थैंक यू बाय बाय